How could you? It was easy. You're my bitch. <sighs> You're making jokes now. The world really is going to hell. Spawn Armageddon was released on November 21st, 2003. It was released on the Xbox, PlayStation 2, and GameCube. It was developed by Point of View and published by Namco. To start us off with the cons today, I have something a little nitpicky for the first one. In the game, there is no moving mouths for the characters, only their heads move. Come on, this isn't PlayStation 1 or N64. The Xbox had plenty of power to render those animations. Seems lazy. For some reason, you're not able to change the camera controls. It is a fixed, inverted, vertical, and horizontal. You are able to change button inputs, which is nice, but I don't seem to see why they left out camera controls. The game has almost no voiceovers other than some cutscenes. That includes all the story bits. In the beginning of each level, you have a brief summary of why Spawn is in this level and what he's supposed to be doing, but it's just text. Spawn doesn't talk during the levels, he just grunts and laughs occasionally. It would have been nice if he had some snappy one-lighters after killing an enemy, but nope, you get silence. The game starts out with Spawn having some flashbacks from what Jason Wynn did to him. While remembering all of this, a bomb goes off in the city, which opens up a portal to hell, letting all kinds of monsters out. Spawn takes it upon himself to try and close those portals to save the city. The story isn't the best, but I guess it's not terrible either. It falls in the middle of the road for me, and since there's so few cutscenes, it doesn't hold up too well. The combat is standard beat-em-up gameplay. He has a small amount of moves that he can pull off in melee combat, but you end up basically doing the same three-button combo over and over for about 90% of all enemies. It's usable, but a little boring. The controls in Spawn Armageddon were decent enough. From moving your character to melee combat and ranged combat, I never felt like I really had a problem. Well done. What little voice acting there is, is done quite well. Although it is a bit of a shame that they didn't get Michael White to do the voice acting for Spawn, but the guy that did do it did a decent enough job, I suppose. The game has plenty of gore. I initially started playing not knowing what the game was rated until I got to about the fifth level and entered a room that was absolutely covered in blood and entrails, and I was a bit taken back by it at first. It is a mature rated game now that I checked, and the gore is pretty awesome and even has blood dripping off of your axe after combat. Spawn has a pretty diverse weapon set for this game. Of course you get to use his chains to kill enemies, which is pretty cool, but on top of that you get his axe and a decent assortment of guns as well as some handful of hell powers, which can all be used to take down enemies however you like. The weapons were fun to use, but they didn't feel like they packed a real punch. It felt a little hollow. Luckily, ammo isn't in total short supply, as you can destroy many props in the stage which will drop health, energy, and more ammo. Overall, Spawn Armageddon is an okay game. It's not terrible, but it's not really memorable either. The lack of voice acting, the bland combat, and the levels just didn't do it for me. It is fun to play for a little bit, but don't expect anything super revolutionary. The game apparently sells for around $10, but I was lucky enough at my local game store to find it for less than 5 If this sounds like it's up your alley, then hey, give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? 